Welcome to all. Let's continue with a Linux basic commands. So today we will learn about a more commands. So more command is also using to see the content. So for example, I want to see the content of password command. So here, so you can see in a, it will show us a, if you want to see a 94%, it will show and it's a small file. So let me show you a big file, but it will show us a line by line as well. Also, if I make an enter, and uh, if I make a space bar, it will give us in a page. So let me open a very big file. So where let's go me the logs file here. And uh, here we'll uh, let me use a more and uh, masses is a very big file here. So here, so now you can see 0% here. If I'm using a space bar, I will get a next page. It's the next page. If I'm using an enter, I will get a line by line okay here and if you want to see is it really it's happening or not let's do manipulation here let me use a cat also and password and let me use a more here so now uh, so so here i need a number so let me use a hyphen n so hyphen n it will display as a numbers so now let me use a, a space bar i'm using so you can Okay, not space bar, sorry. Uh, let me open a log file, big file. So, messages. Okay, now you can see here 27. Now you can see 58, 83, 114. If I'm using enter, you can see this one. So, that is the things we can do. And if you want to search something, let's say I want to start somewhere, let's say network manager so first so how can i do it here so i can use a space plus and slash and here i will use it network manager so you can see it, here it is a skipping and started from a network manager where it will find out you can see here skipping and started from a network manager so like that we can use a here so already i documented each and everything here so space bar for page by page display enter key for line by line display and suppose if this package is not installed in your operating system by default it will be installed there then we need to install we need to use this package util hyphen linux and we can install this command if this command is missing in your operating system so let's learn about a less command so less command i like more le uh, like a less command here so here also we are using a e for enter and the by backward here we can come back as well also space bar is also here page by page and b is using for backward one window here okay so let me show the examples so now i'm using a less and here I'm using a message. So now here, and uh, I, if I want to go forward, I need to use a space bar here. And if I want to come back, I need to use a B, okay? So if you want to make it as a, uh, we can manipulate with the cat so we can see the numbering. So that is easy to recognize us here. So let me use a message here. Now I am here manipulating and I make a less here. Now you can see here, I'm using a space bar, same as like here. Earlier, uh, uh, we had learned in a more command and now let me use a B. So you can see here, I'm coming back as well also here. Okay, and if I'm using enter and if I want to come back, I can use a Y, Y is coming back and enter is going to line by line here and one more thing here if you want to search something there i started let's say i want to search here let's say shock it here so you find out and use n you will find out here anything here no I, here shockets and it is line number 105 and okay there 166 now i can see 166 again i find out and uh, I find out again 226. If you want to come back, use a uh, shift N means caps N. Okay, caps N. So I came back, caps N I'm using here. So small N is using for a forward. And if you want to come back, 
you need to use a small n. So here, next word search, we need to use the n. Back, we need to use it here. And one more thing, if you comes last, okay, last, let me reach a last here. So here, one more thing here, we need to use a Q for quit here. It automatically not quitted here. Now, I need to use a Q, then it will quit. Either it will not quit here, it will stay here. So key Q, I need to quit. Small n forward search, that means next. I can say next caps and back search. Okay, back. So these things you need to remember it here. And I need to use a quit. I want to quit here. So let me quit. So it's very good less to search. So let's learn about a move command. So move command is using to move a file from one location to another location. Let's say, let me go inside a slash temp here, ls. So now, if I want to rename this boo.log, so let me rename as a, if the path is same, so I can rename. So I can make it a new underscore boo.log, okay? So earlier we did same with the CP command, but CP command will make a copy this one and create a new copy. It will keep this copy and make a new copy, but here it will rename it, okay? It will not make any copy here. Now you can see here, ls-lrt hyphen -L -L here. So now new underscore boo.log here, there is no boo.log. If I did with same things with the CP commands, let's take a CP command example here. So if I if I'm trying with a CP command and I will make as a test dot log, let's say take example. So what it will do now, you will find out both the files here. Copy, okay, test dot log and here, but in move command, <coughs> it will replace. And you want to move this file, Let's say new underscore boot log. I want to send in to any like your uh, another location. Let's say dir directory. So directory is here. So let me send here. Now it will move from here. Now you will not find out here. Okay. Now it's not here. New. Where is it here? Let's check it with a tree command now. We know the tree command. So here inside a tree command, we have a directory to a new book new underscore boot dot log file. So like that we can use a move command here. So these are the examples here. So move command is to move the file from one source to another destination. Uh, if the source, if the current source and current, uh, if your uh, destination is also current, then it called as a rename, it will rename the file. Let's come in and move command. Let's learn about a touch command. So touch commands is using to create empty files, ls. So I want to create an empty file here. Let me use a touch and file one. So if we check here, li, you will see rt ls hyphen li, I, I mentioned here also, I know number. So you can see I know number has been also created for empty file. Let me create a one more empty file here with the here too. Here, it's creating empty files. We can't write any content inside here. M means touch is not writing any content, just it is creating a empty files here. Let's learn if you want to create a programmatically, means uh, uh, in a cell scripting, if you want to create a make empty directory, make empty directories or uh, uh, file also create a, if you want to, we have a make temp command. So what it will do, make temp, it will create empty files by default here. So this is a file here. It has been created here by default. It will, it, it, this is a second thing. So you can ask where we are, we are using in a real scenario we can use in a cell scripting because 
when you are creating any empty files using a touch command, you need to give any name here, a specific name here. Uh, for example, any name you are giving here, file three, anything you are giving here, right? So, but sometime you need, frequently you need to create and uh, you need to give a unique name, how we can handle the situation as perspective of a cell scripting. So then we can use it here. It is creating always a new here and you can see LS iPhone, ls hyphen lrt here so here these are the empty files created okay let's suppose it, same things if you want to do with the directories how we can create empty directories make directory command we have used earlier so how we can do with the here so here now it's creating a directories so here you are you're not able to recognize but just do it ls hyphen lrt you can see directories now i have created so many things with it let's say consuming i node number here every i node number is different see so it's consuming my i node numbers i created it okay if you want to fool your system i don't mind so you can use a while statement it can uh, fool your uh, i node numbers if you want to do a practice so like that it will consume your all i nodes number here there is no content, but it's all empty here. And you can see, use a tree command. You can see all are empty here. Nothing is here. These are directories here, okay? But right now you are unhappy and you want to do a custom here. It's creating me the temp dot this here. This is the format, template format. If you are unhappy and you want to customize, how we can do a customize, let's say, I want to go inside a slash root. And here I want to create, let's say I'm creating it, make temp, and I need to give a name here. So let's say I can give a ABC dot. I need to use a at least three X, it's a template. Now it's created here. If I try with the A2, it will, it will throw me a template error. So at least three here, M, M, K. By default, it will take randomly, randomly it will take, it's taking, okay? And it's creating a, a here. So if I want to increase, now you can see it is in LS hyphen LRT, it's increased here. Okay, so randomly. And if you want to make a directory, you can make a directory. Let's say you want to changing a naming convention here. You want you want to give a dir for example here. So let's do it. Now you can see here lrt created. And if you want to give only three at least at least you need to give a three. So here now ls hyphen lrt here so now you are able to see here bl2 